Hey folks, this is Trasknari. Welcome to Let's Play the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this game is fantastic, you can get it for free, just go ahead and Google it. Um, the most recent versions of the game, anything past I think, one, yeah, this 133, that version, anything past that is a, uh, is, you have to buy it. But uh, they have said that this version of the game will always be free. So you can get this for free, just go ahead and Google search it. We are in charge of the Kerbal Space Program. These guys want to get to space. We're going to try to help them. Start game. We need to assemble a spaceship. So, uh, we only, we only have one command pod possible, so we're going to do this. This is a command pod. Alright, let's take off. Three, two, one. Go. Go. Come on, you little... Oh, right. We do not have any kind of fuel. Let's go ahead and just attack a, attach a booster to that. It's just booster. There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hey, there we go. We may have not made a spaceship, but I think we made an intercontinental ballistic missile. And up here, we can increase time warp to make us go... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, here's hoping we hit water. And they... None of them survived that landing. Fantastic. Ah. Uh, so, well, first thing, we should make sure we, you know, put a parachute on there. See? This is a spaceship. Let me introduce our, uh, I didn't introduce them before. These are our, uh, astronauts. We have Bill, Bob, and Jebediah. Jebediah, Jebediah is the spaceman of them. He loves space. He loves thrills. If Jebediah is panicking, then you know something bad is happening. Over here, you can see our... Our roll, yaw, and pitch. This, I have no clue what the hell this is even is. You can control your throttle, though. That's a, that's pretty neat. And over here, you see uh, what parts of the rocket you have. So let's go. Yeah. See, look, Jebediah's having the time of his life. Bob is not. Jebediah does not yet realize the depths of hell he is about to enter. Parachute. Parachute. Parachute! Oh dear. Now, a problem that I am finding is that the parachute is not deploying. So, we make it a multi stage rocket, which means we deploy the parachute once the fuel on the solid booster runs out. This can't go wrong. We need to go super fast, so let's crank the throttle up. Yeah! See, I have given up on the concept of going to space, because I don't know how. So, I am going to take them on a journey. We are going to go on a vacation. You're going to love it. Jebediah loves it. Look at him. Loves it. Son of a bitch right here. See? Parachute works now. Now, let's hope they survive! Can't look in the window. See, Jebediah, Jebediah thinks they're gonna be okay. Bob does not. Bill does not know. Despite the fact that- oh no, he's starting to panic too. See? We're gonna be fine! Look at you guys! Let's speed up time a little bit. You cowards thought you wouldn't make it. What's wrong with you? Look, you're fine! You're fine! Just gonna touch down. You're gonna be fine. See? They're fine. Oh god! See? Success. They did it. I am the winner. But you are saying you are purposefully going out of your way to not do the stuff you're supposed to. That is true! Or here we have decouplers. 
And that, my friends, is the core of this game, is decouplers. Decouplers do this. If I had set them up properly. See, the problem is that it decouples right as the thing launches. So, we need to create another stage. Move that down there. So now, we can take off, crank up the throttle, and just take right off. Pushing T tur tur uh, turns on SAS, which tries to st uh, stabilize your rocket even just a little bit. Uh. Woo! Look at that! That was a successful mission of ever. And look, they're all happy. They're all happy with how that went down. Truly, I am the greatest command center ever. Now, now you may be saying, this is no rocket. It's not going to get us anywhere near high enough. Well, don't you worry. I have a plan for you. So, what we could do is we can add more rockets. This is symmetry. This allows us to add things in a symmetrical fashion. See? Like that. Now that's a lot of rockets. Now, see, this is going to take us to space. Well, Bob and Bill don't agree, but Bob and Bill aren't scientists like I am. Uh, that overheat thing is a little bit worrying, but don't worry, I'm sure we'll run out of fuel before that. I'm sure. Uh, I hope. What? Oh, they blew up. There you go, decoupler. Go down there. Speed up time a little bit. You're still going up low. Look at that. Look, you guys are going to get to space in no time. And now the numbers are going down, which is not a good thing. Bill, why are you not panicking? Bob seems to be the only intelligent member of the crew. So, as we have determined, things overheat. Now, you may be thinking, maybe we need a cooling system. No, that would be intelligent. All we need to do is not crank the throttle up to full, but that would be too easy. Let's see, are these guys going to survive this landing? I don't know. Also, you may have seen my uh, desktop background there. I don't know, because for some reason my screen went, uh, my window went translucent there for a second. Which, you know, is a fantastic thing to have happen to you when you're making space happen. See, Bob's come around. Touchdown. Yeah. Spin! Spinning. Now, go back to the assembly building. Now, we saw that these all blew up. That's because they're very close.